Hey, and welcome to The Investigation, a uh, time every week where we take a little bit more of a look into the chapter or the verses that we talked about on the weekend. And so I am just letting you know, I'm calculating that this is gonna be really good. I really am. And so I got my coffee here. Do you guys drink coffee? Everyone drinks coffee, right? Oh, it's pretty good actually. So we're gonna look at Psalm chapter 16. Now, if you didn't see this week, that's okay. But this last week, we talked about having confidence and how God gives us confidence. And that confidence doesn't really go away when we remember that God is with us. And so I wanna look again, Psalm chapter 16 is wrote by David. Now you may know David from David and Goliath or other things that David did. That's the most popular thing, I think, when we think about David. Uh, but he's a popular person in the Old Testament of the Bible, and he wrote a lot of the Psalms. And so this one he wrote as well. And I want to start in verse 8. And so if you do have a Bible or you have an, an additional device that you're watching this on, you can look on the Bible app. You can do that. But in verse 8, actually verse 7, it starts out by saying, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Counsel means that they are uh, one who kind of helps you out, one who gives you advice, one who really provides you comfort. And so the week before we talked all about having comfort and how God comforts us because he's with us all the time. And so that's important, but it's really cool to see how it picks up here. So first off, David says, I'm going to thank God. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to be thankful for the fact that he's the one who comforts me. And then we move in verse eight, where it says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. Now, uh, as you just saw, even my eyes go all over the place. My eyes, I am willing to say, or I'm able to say, or yeah, I'm willing to say, my eyes are not always on the Lord. I'm not always thinking about God. I'm not always doing exactly what God wants me to do. And that's what he would say is, I am trying to focus on God's words and who he is and how much he loves me, what he wants me to do all the time. So he said, my eyes are always on the Lord. And that's a tough one for me. That That's tough for me to, to kind of do that. But here's kind of what happens with it. Because he says, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Meaning, we're going to talk about this. God is really, he goes before us. He is with us. And he is living inside of us. All those things are true. And so he says, with God at my right hand, with God with me, like I will not be shaken. And so when we think about uh, being shaken, uh, that, that just means he's kind of thrown off. So when things don't go our way or when things are out of our control, we can trust when we know God's with us, when we believe the things that are true about him and what he says about us, we, we don't have to be too thrown off. We don't have to be reacting or responding in a, in a bad way or in a mean way or in a sarcastic way or in a hurtful way or in a way where we feel like we're kind of hopeless or lost, we can know that God's with us and those things are true. So that's why David is saying, my eyes are on him and when my eyes are on him, I know he's with me. So when I'm thinking about God and how much he loves me and what his words say to me, I know he's with me. I know he's gone before me. I know he's alive inside of me. And then that way, I'm not gonna be thrown off. When things don't go my way, I remember what's true about God and what he thinks and says and has done for me. That is really awesome. Now, let's look at verse 11, because this is really cool. It says, you make known to me the path of life. What does that mean? Have you ever been hiking before? Or you've gone on a trail before? Or maybe just on a sidewalk before? Chances are you didn't put that trail in. Chances are someone else made a trail for you or built a sidewalk for you so you know where to go and you can walk pretty safely. Now, I have been kind of lost in the woods before. I'm not gonna sing the song, although it's a good song. I'm not gonna sing it, but I have been lost in the woods before and it is hard to kind of figure out where you're going. But God would say, I, I've already gone before you and I've prepared this path. I have these plans for you. And so our role when we keep our eyes on God is to just stay on the path that he set before us, which would mean we listen and obey. We listen to what he says and we obey him because we know when we're close with God, when we listen to him and obey what he says, we stay close to him and we can understand that he's already got a path for us. So when we keep our eyes on him, 
we can go his direction and we cannot be shaken. That gives us confidence because we know who God is at all times. Now, sometimes we fall off the path. Sometimes we don't do things that we want to do or we don't do things that God would say that we ought to do. The cool thing is, is God keeps making new paths for us to follow. No matter who we are, no matter where we are, God will always make a new path for us. And when we keep our eyes or we put our eyes back to him, he's got a path ready for us. And he makes known the path of life. And the coolest part is, and I kind of said it, but you fill me with joy in your presence. God's the one who gives us joy. And so when we stay on that path and we keep trying to find God's path that he's given to us, keep trying to listen for him, put into practice all the things we learn about him, when we keep our eyes on him, he gives us joy. That's the goal is staying close with God because he gives us joy and that gives us confidence no matter what happens. And so praying for you, hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope this was helpful as you learn a little bit more about Psalm 16.